Hi, veterinary peeps. Today, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant. And those of you who are fear free certified, I'm hoping that you can help also back up some humane and safe methods of inducing vomiting in cats. My rant is this. I am noticing a very terrifying trend on social media where we are spinning cats to try to induce vomiting. It's not funny, it's inhumane, it's actually cruel, it's a form of torture and it needs to stop. Unfortunately, I'm seeing a variety of different ways that we are trying to get cats to vomit and people are finding it funny. These videos have gone viral. We're seeing millions of views. Pet owners think it's funny. Every so often someone from the veterinary community speaks up and then they're trashed. I, I know I'm going to get some probably very angry people about this who are going to disagree with me, but unfortunately, we are torturing cats. We need to stop. I want you to imagine you are that cat. It is completely unethical to put a cat in a carrier, spin it around, hold it on your lap, spin it around, and then we wonder why cats are angry at the veterinary hospital and they want to bite us uh, because we're torturing them. It's just not okay. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background as to why it is hard to get cats to vomit. So cats chemoreceptor triggering zone, also known as their CRTZ, is regulated by alpha receptors. In dogs, it's regulated by dopamine. And so products like apomorphine that we use in dogs that have almost 100% efficacy to get our dog patients to vomit, they don't work in cats for that reason because they are alpha receptor driven. So how do we get cats to vomit? Well, certainly xylazine, but unfortunately it has a less than 50% efficacy rate. So dexmedetomidine is actually the preferred method. We see almost a 70% uh, efficacy rate in inducing vomiting without the spinning. There is no evidence to say spinning is going to get this cat to vomit. And in fact, if anything, you have a higher risk of aspiration pneumonia, and you are also unfortunately causing a fear-induced behavior. The other technique out there is certainly trying some hydromorphone. This is a product that we have used very safely for analgesia in our both our dog and cat patients for years. And we know if we inject it at a very fast rate in cats, they tend to vomit. So all of these products are safer and they can go ahead and be reversed, then putting a cat on drugs who may not have great control of their airway and spinning them at a high rate of speed while the veterinary clinic is actually laughing at them. Just, we are in a moment right now where we're trying to be nice to our cats so that they don't bite us, so that they're less aggressive. And we know some of these kinder techniques actually decrease fear response. This right here is inhumane. It's basically waterboarding, but for cats. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. I can't imagine being strapped to a chair or in a carrier and being somewhat sedated and then someone spinning me around. I, it's just unethical. So that's my rant. Stop spinning cats. I don't want to see another video on Facebook or YouTube or TikTok and everyone going, ah, it's so funny. It's not funny, guys. It's not. So I'm sorry. I Usually I'm a light and shining and rainbows and unicorns, but today I just, I saw another video with everybody laughing in the background and I, I'm done. So that's what I have to say. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear other ways you humanely get cats to vomit. I do not care if the one time you spun a cat, it worked. I don't care because your efficacy rate is no better than the actually not spinning a cat. Trust me on this. All right. Anyway, look forward to your comments. I'm sure I ticked off some people, but we've got to stop this inhumane treatment. And if you're a pet owner, make sure they don't spin your cat. Bye.